The Westinghouse Electric Corporation was an American manufacturing company. It was founded on January 8, 1886, as Westinghouse Electric Company and later renamed Westinghouse Electric Corporation by its founder George Westinghouse 1846 George Westinghouse had previously founded the Westinghouse Air Brake Company. The corporation purchased the CBS Broadcasting Company in 1995 and became the original CBS Corporation in 1997. Topic history Westinghouse Electric was founded by George Westinghouse in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in 1886. The firm became active in developing electric infrastructure throughout the United States. The company's largest factories were located in East Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and Leicester, Pennsylvania and in Hamilton, Ontario, where they made turbines, generators, motors, and switch gear for generation, transmission, and use of electricity. In addition to George Westinghouse, early engineers working for the company included Frank Conrad, Benjamin Garver Lamb, Oliver B. Schallenberger, William Stanley, Nikola Tesla, Stephen Timoshenko and Vladimir Zwerikin. Early on, Westinghouse was a rival to Thomas Edison's electric company. In 1892, Edison was merged with Westinghouse's chief AC rival, the Thomson Houston Electric Company, making an even bigger competitor, General Electric. Westinghouse Electric and Manufacturing Company changed its name to Westinghouse Electric Corporation in 1945. Westinghouse purchased CBS Inc. in 1995. Westinghouse Electric Corporation changed its name to and became CBS Corporation in 1997. In 1998, the Power Generation Business Unit, headquartered in Orlando, Florida, was sold to Siemens AG, of Germany. A year later, CBS sold all of its commercial nuclear power businesses to British Nuclear Fuels Limited BNFL. In connection with that sale, certain rights to use the Westinghouse trademarks were granted to the newly formed BNFL subsidiary, Westinghouse Electric Company. That company was sold to Toshiba in 2006. Topic. Financial catastrophe and corporate reinvention In 1990, Westinghouse experienced a financial catastrophe when the corporation lost over $1 billion due to bad high-risk, high-fee, high-interest loans made by its Westinghouse Credit Corporation lending arm. In an attempt to revitalize the corporation, the board of directors appointed outside management in the form of CEO Michael Jordan, who brought in numerous consultants to help re-engineer the company in order to realize the potential that they saw in the broadcasting industry. Westinghouse reduced the workforce in many of its traditional industrial operations and made further acquisitions in broadcasting to add to its already substantial Group W network, purchasing CBS in 1995. Shortly after, Westinghouse purchased Infinity Broadcasting, TNN, CMT, American Radio Systems, and rights to NFL Broadcasting. These investments cost the company over $15 billion. To recoup its costs, Westinghouse sold many other operations. Siemens purchased non-nuclear power generation, while other firms bought the defense electronics, office furniture company Knoll, Thermo King, and residential security. With little remaining of the company aside from its broadcasting, Westinghouse renamed itself CBS Corporation in 1997. Topic. Patents During the 20th century, Westinghouse engineers and scientists were granted more than 28,000 U.S. government patents, the third most of any company. Topic. Products and sponsorships The company pioneered the power generation industry and in the fields of long-distance power transmission and high-voltage alternating current transmission, unveiling the technology for lighting in Great Barrington, Massachusetts, the first commercial Westinghouse steam turbine-driven generator, a 1,500 kW unit, began operation at Hartford Electric Light Co., in 1901. 
The machine, nicknamed Mary Ann, was the first steam turbine generator to be installed by an electric utility to generate electricity in the U.S. George Westinghouse had based his original steam turbine design on designs licensed from the English inventor Charles Parsons. Today a large proportion of steam turbine generators operating around the world, ranging to units as large as 1,500 megawatts or 1,000 times the original 1901 unit were supplied by Westinghouse from its factories in Leicester, PA, Charlotte, North Carolina or Hamilton, ONT, or were built overseas under Westinghouse license. Major Westinghouse licensees or joint venture partners included Mitsubishi Heavy Industries of Japan and Harbin Turbine Co., and Shanghai Electric Co., of China. Westinghouse boasted 50,000 employees by 1900, and established a formal research and development department in 1906. While the company was expanding, it would experience internal financial difficulties. During the Panic of 1907, the board of directors forced George Westinghouse to take a six-month leave of absence. Westinghouse officially retired in 1909 and died several years later in 1914. Under new leadership, Westinghouse Electric diversified its business activities in electrical technology. It acquired the Copeman Electric Stove Company in 1914 and Pittsburgh High Voltage Insulator Company in 1921. Westinghouse also moved into radio broadcasting by establishing Pittsburgh's KDKA, the first commercial radio station, and WBZ in Springfield, Massachusetts in 1921. Westinghouse expanded into the elevator business, establishing the Westinghouse Elevator Company in 1928. Throughout the decade, diversification engendered considerable growth. Sales went from $43 million in 1914 to $216 million in 1929. Westinghouse produced the first operational American turbojet for the U.S. Navy program in 1943. After many successes, the ill fated J 40 project, started soon after World War II, was abandoned in 1955 and led to Westinghouse exiting the aircraft engine business with closure of the Westinghouse Aviation Gas Turbine Division in 1960. During the late 1940s, Westinghouse applied its aviation gas turbine technology and experience to develop its first industrial gas turbine. A 2000 horsepower model W21 was installed in 1948 at the Mississippi River Fuel Corp gas compression station in Wilmar, Arkansas. This was the beginning of a 50 year history of Westinghouse industrial and utility gas turbine development. Prior to the sale by Westinghouse of the power generation business to Siemens, AG in 1998. Evolving from the small steam and gas turbine division formed in the early 1950s, the Westinghouse Combustion Turbine Systems Division was located in Concordville, PA, near Philadelphia and the old Leicester, PA plant, until it was relocated to Power Generation Headquarters in Orlando, Florida in 1987. As a result of its participation in the U.S. government's military program for nuclear energy applications e.g. The Nuclear Navy Westinghouse was instrumental in the development and commercialization of nuclear energy systems for electric power generation. This business currently operates as the Westinghouse Electric Company, and is owned by Toshiba of Japan. Electricité de France EDF, a major global player in the nuclear power business, was a long-time licensee of the Westinghouse nuclear technology. Additional major industrial products in the widespread Westinghouse portfolio included electric motors of all sizes, elevators and escalators, controls and lighting. The large motor division, once headquartered in Buffalo, New York, entered a joint venture with Taiwan Electric Co. Teco in the 1970s and today operates as Teco Westinghouse. Much of Westinghouse's higher voltage power equipment was sold to AB in 1989 and renamed the AB Power T&D Company. The Westinghouse Transportation Division, 1894, supplied equipment and controls for many North American interurban and streetcar lines. The San Francisco Bay Area Rapid Transit, BART, Washington D.C. Metro, WMATA, New York City Subway, NYCT, equipment from the 1890s elevated era to the R6A 
Interstate A in 1988, among many other heavy rail and rail transit systems and built locomotives, often in partnership with Baldwin, Lima Hamilton as well as supplying electrical and traction equipment for Fairbanks Morse diesel locomotives. The division designed and built Automated People Movers APMs at several major U.S. airports, including Tampa, Dallas Fort Worth and Orlando. The transportation division was sold to AEG of Germany 1988, which merged into a joint venture of AB and Daimler-Benz named Adtrans in 1996. Ultimately, the unit was acquired by Bombardier of Canada in 2001 and is still headquartered in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Westinghouse was also a leader in the design and manufacturing of household electrical products, including radios, televisions, and other audio video equipment, and both small and large electric appliances of all kinds, from hair dryers and electric irons to clothes washers and dryers, refrigerators, and air conditioning units. For many years Westinghouse was a familiar household name and favored brand. After more than 50 years, and after playing a strong number two to rival General Electric for most of that time, Westinghouse decided to exit the appliance business in the mid-1970s. White Westinghouse was formed when White Consolidated acquired the Westinghouse Appliance Unit in 1975. The company is also known for its time capsule contributions during the 1939 New York World's Fair and 1964 New York World's Fair. They also participated in the St. Louis World's Fair in 1904. They sponsored the Westinghouse Auditorium at the fair, where they showed films documenting Westinghouse products and company plants. Westinghouse was one of the original corporate sponsors and exhibitors at Walt Disney World's Epcot attraction in Orlando, Florida. Environmental incidents There has been a number of Westinghouse-related environmental incidents in the U.S. Below is a short list of these. All of these are chemical pollution incidents, none of them involve nuclear reactors or nuclear pollution. Sharon Plant – The Westinghouse Sharon Plant was a 58-acre Westinghouse transformer production facility in Mercer County, Pennsylvania. The EPA's recent second five-year overview 2013 of this toxic Superfund site determined that the Shenango River has been polluted due to Westinghouse operations in this area. The report notes that the PCB concentrations in the fish tissue results for the channel catfish and smallmouth bass samples, an unacceptable risk is present even for consumption rates of one meal per month." This plant was no longer operational after 1984. Westinghouse submitted their final cleanup plan in 1998, and further action beyond their dissolution has been liable to CBS. The Transformer business unit was sold to AB in 1989. This site now houses a product design company. Adams County Plant, Westinghouse was fined $5.5 million in 1996 for polluting groundwater in over 100 wells, as well as other water sources, while operating its Westinghouse Elevator Company plant in Adams County, Pennsylvania. Degreases and other toxic chemicals were released over a five year period in the 1980s. This business unit was sold to Schindler in 1988. Future liability for cleanup has been directed to CBS following the dissolution of Westinghouse Electric Corporation in 1999. Horseheads Site Westinghouse operates a cathode ray tube plant in Horseheads, New York. They were deemed responsible for pollution at the Kentucky Avenue Wellfield Superfund site in Horseheads, New York. Westinghouse polluted nearby soil, affecting the safety of a nearby aquifer and wells used by residents. One phase of the cleanup effort describes Westinghouse Electric Corporation's facility, designated Disposal Area F, and the former runoff basin area which are contaminated with volatile organic compounds VOCs, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons PAHs, and arsenic, will be cleaned up using a combination of soil excavation and soil vapor extraction. At disposal area F, the area of contamination is about 0.3 acres. At the former runoff basin area, the contaminated soils cover approximately 0.7 acres. 
Disposal of the excavated soils occurred at appropriate off-site facilities. The removal of the PAHs and arsenic contamination will protect site workers and employees at the Westinghouse facility and the cleanup of the VOCs will help restore the quality of the Newtown Creek Aquifer. In 1986, Westinghouse entered a joint venture at this plant with Toshiba to produce CRTs. In 1989, Toshiba becomes some owner of this plant and the Westinghouse Court Business Unit. Future liability has been shifted to CBS. Sunnyvale Plant, Westinghouse operated a plant which manufactured electronics for military systems in Sunnyvale, California. Groundwater and soil near this plant are contaminated with PCBs, fuels, and volatile organic compounds VOCs. Potential health threats to area residents include accidentally ingesting or coming into direct contact with site contaminants in soil or groundwater. There are municipal drinking water wells within one quarter mile from this site, and 300,000 people get their drinking water from within three miles of the site. This business unit was sold to Northrop Grumman in 1996. Future liability for this action has been passed on to CBS. Topic. Timeline of company evolution Topic. 1880s 1884 – George Westinghouse begins developing a DC electric lighting system 1885 – Westinghouse becomes aware of the new European transformer-based alternating current systems when he reads about them in the UK Technical Journal Engineering 1885 – William Stanley, Jr., working for Westinghouse, develops the first practical AC transformer 1886 – Westinghouse Electric Company founded 1886 – William Stanley, Jr. installs the world's first operational transformer-based multiple voltage transmission system, a demonstration lighting system in Great Barrington, Massachusetts 1888 – Development of an induction ampere hour meter for alternating current developed by Oliver B. Schallenberger 1888 – Licensing of Nikola Tesla's AC and induction motor patents Tesla hired as a consultant for one year but quits after a few months. 1889 – Renames itself the Westinghouse Electric and Manufacturing Company. 1890s eighteen ninety one built world's first industrial AC system Ames hydroelectric generating plant eighteen ninety three supplied electric lights and power for world's Columbian exposition and generators for Gettysburg Electric Railway eighteen ninety three hired Bertha Lamb Feicht, the company's first female engineer eighteen ninety four transportation division rail equipment founded 1895 – Installed hydropower AC generators at Adams Power Plant, Niagara Falls which supplied power to Buffalo, New York, completed 1896 1898 – Purchases Walker MFG. Co. of Cleveland, establishing main facility and plant in Cleveland which produces power transmitting machinery, cable railway networks, castings and lighting, 1899 – Founded British Westinghouse Electric and Manufacturing Company. 1900s to 1920s 1901 – Acquires Bryant Electric Company of Bridgeport, Connecticut, which continues operation as a subsidiary 1901 operation of first Westinghouse steam turbine generator installed at Hartford Electric Light Company 1904 with Baldwin, markets Baldwin Westinghouse electric locomotives and AC electrification of railroads, particularly to the New Haven Railroad 1909 introduces continuous filament tungsten light bulb, ousts George Westinghouse as chairman during bankruptcy reorganization 1914 acquires Copeman Electric Stove Company in Flint, Michigan from Lloyd Groff Copeman, moves it to Mansfield, Ohio and enters the home appliance market sold in 1974 to White Consolidated Industries 1914 George Westinghouse dies, with a legacy including 361 patents and the founding of 60 companies. 1915 – New England Westinghouse Company opens for business. 
First product is Mosin Nagant rifles for the Russian Tsar's army. Within two years, the Bolsheviks overthrow the Russian provisional government and cancel a previous order of over one million rifles. Facing bankruptcy, Westinghouse is rescued by the American government when it purchases the rifles for use by the military. 1916 share of British Westinghouse purchased by a British holding company, which becomes Metropolitan Vickers 1917 builds steam turbine manufacturing plant in Leicester, PA Tinicum Township near the Philadelphia Airport 1919 8 XE Pittsburgh Experimental Station goes on the air. 1919 creates RCA with GE, AT&T and United Fruit, buys the American division of Marconi. 1920 acquires International Radio Telegraph Company, formerly known as the National Electric Signaling Company. 1921 acquires the Pittsburgh High Voltage Insulator Company. 1920s enters the broadcasting industry with stations like KDKA in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and WBZ in Massachusetts. 1926 in partnership with GE and RCA founds NBC Broadcasting. Topic: 1930s and 1940s. 1932 announces Ignitron Mercury arc rectifier. 1934 opens its home of tomorrow in Mansfield, Ohio, to demonstrate Westinghouse home appliances. 1935 completes longest continuous electric steel annealing furnace in the world at Ford Motor Company, Dearborn, Michigan. 1930s – Funds invention of the magnetohydrodynamic generator 1937 – Builds first, "...industrial atom smasher", a 5 MeV van de Graaff electrostatic nuclear accelerator 1940s – Enters aviation with airborne radar defense electronics sold 1996, jet engine propulsion, and ground-based airport lighting, gets defense contract from U.S. military to produce plastic helmet liners for the M1 helmet 1941 – After years of resistance to the unionization efforts of its employees and to the National Labor Relations Act, signs a national labor agreement with the United Electrical, Radio and Machine Workers of America after a United States Supreme Court decision that upheld the act. 1943 – Purchased the LAMP division of Kentucky Radio Corporation Ken Rad in Owensboro, Kentucky from Roy Burlew in exchange for 35,000 shares of Westinghouse stock valued at $1.6 million $22.7 million today 1945 – Renames itself the Westinghouse Electric Corporation, and makes first automatic elevator 1945 Westinghouse Aviation Gas Turbine Division AGT started 1948 you can be sure if it's Westinghouse in Time magazine ad topic 1950s to 1970s 1951 conducts first live network TV in US 1952 opens cathode ray tube facility in Horseheads, NY. Facility housed three divisions, cathode ray tube, electronic tube, and industrial and government tube. 1954 enters finance as Westinghouse Credit Corporation. 1955 buys KDKA TV, then WDTV and KYW originally, and currently WTAM Radio Cleveland. 1955 Westinghouse J-40 engine failure causes all F-3H fighters using the engine to be grounded, and all other jets using it to switch to other engines. Westinghouse forced out of aircraft engine business. 1961 acquires Thermo King sold in 1997 to Ingersoll Rand 1964 begins Skybus project, beginning of automated mass transit 1965 buys Marketeer Electronic Vehicles 1966 founds Cinema Center Films 1966 starts Housing and Real Estate Development Divisions 1966 buys a toy manufacturer 1967 lights America's first computer-controlled outdoor electric sign 1967 makes the lowest bid for the BART project 
1969 buys 7-Up Bottling 1973 develops world's first AMLCD displays 1974 sells well-known home appliance division to White Consolidated Industries which becomes White Westinghouse 1979 withdraws from all oil-related projects in the Middle East after Iranian Revolution Topic 1980s 1981 acquires both cable television operator Teleprompter sold 1985, Muzak sold September 1986, and 50% of Showtime for $576 million. 1982 acquires robot maker Animation 1982 sells Street Light Division to Cooper Lighting 1983 sells Electric Lamp Division to Philips 1984 buys Animation Robotics for $105 million. 1986 buys Los Angeles TV station. 1987 buys radio stations in Sacramento and Chicago. 1987 buys Electrical Equipment, Engineering and Waste Disposal Divisions. 1988 sells Elevator, Escalator Division to Schindler Group, now known as Schindler Elevator Corporation. 1988 enters into joint venture with Taiwan Electric to build electric motors. Taiwan Electric eventually becomes sole owner of business as Teco Motor Company. 1988 spins Industrial and Government Tube Division off as Imaging and Sensing Technologies Corporation. 1988 closes the East Pittsburgh Generator and Leicester, PA turbine plants, which had once been the primary Westinghouse manufacturing facilities. 1988 – Bryant Electric subsidiary closed, assets sold to Hubble in 1991 1988 – Transportation division, including railroad locomotive and mass transit equipment business sold to AEG, later merged into ADTRANS 1996 and Bombardier Transportation in 2001 1989 – Sells transmission and distribution business to ASEA Brown Bovary Group 1989 buys Shaw Walker Furniture and Ref Furniture. 1989 buys Legacy Broadcasting. Topic: 1990s to 2000s. 1990 buys Knoll International Furniture. 1994 buys United Technologies Norden Electronic Systems. 1994 – Cleveland Operations and Facilities purchased by Eaton Corporation for $1.6 billion. Cleveland Westinghouse facilities, as well as manufacturing plants converted into other commercial enterprises. 199X – Separates IT and phone service sales into Westinghouse Communications Division. 1995 under the leadership of Michael H. Jordan buys CBS for $5.4 billion $8.7 billion today 1996 buys Infinity Broadcasting for $4.7 billion 1996 sells Westinghouse Electronic Systems defense business to Northrop Grumman for $3 billion $4.7 billion today, becoming Northrop Grumman Electronic Systems 1997 sells Thermo King Division to Ingersoll Rand 1997 buys American Radio Systems for $2.6 billion, increasing station network to 175. 1997 sells most non-broadcast operations, renames itself CBS Corporation as of December 1. 1998 sells remaining manufacturing asset, its nuclear energy business, to BNFL which sold it to Toshiba in 2006 which still operates it as Westinghouse Electric Company today. 1998 sells its non-nuclear power generation and energy units to Siemens AG, which operated under the name Siemens Westinghouse until 2003. 1998 CBS Corporation creates Westinghouse Licensing Corporation Westinghouse Electric Corporation subsidiary to manage the Westinghouse brand 
1999 buys Outdoor Systems for $8.7 billion and King World Productions for $2.5 billion. 1999 CBS acquired by Viacom, marking the end of the original Westinghouse Corporation. 2006 Viacom is split into two companies in January, with a new Viacom being spun off of the company, and the old Viacom being renamed CBS Corporation thus reviving Westinghouse's last name prior to sale and reversing the 1999 Viacom-CBS merger. 2006 BNFL sold its interest in Westinghouse Electric Company to Toshiba for $5.4 billion, 2010 The Westinghouse Electric Company Toshiba opened new headquarters in Cranberry Township, Butler County, Pennsylvania where it preserves the industrial legacy of the original Westinghouse Electric Corporation. <laughs> CEOs George Westinghouse, 1886–1909 Edwin M. Hare, 1911 to 1929. F. A. Merrick, 1929, February 1938. George H. Buha, February 1938 to 1946. Gwilym A. Price, 1946 to 1957. Mark W. Crisap Jr., 1957 to 1963. Don Burnham, 1963–1975 Robert Kirby, 1975–1983 Douglas Danforth, December 1983–December 1987 John Maruse, 1988 June 29, 1990 Paul Lego, June 30, 1990–January 1993 Gary Clark, January 1993 to July 1993. Michael Jordan, July 1993 to 1997. Topic: Overseas subsidiaries. Westinghouse established subsidiary companies in several countries, including British Westinghouse and Societa Italiana Westinghouse in Vado Ligure, Italy. British Westinghouse became a subsidiary of Metropolitan Vickers in 1919 and the Italian Westinghouse factory was taken over by Tecnomazio in 1921. See also List of Westinghouse locomotives Mary Ann turbine generator Siemens Westinghouse, also known as Siemens Power Generation, Inc. War of Currents Westinghouse Electric Company Westinghouse Works, 1904 Westinghouse Broadcasting, also known as Group W Westinghouse Lamp Plant Westinghouse Combustion Turbine Systems Division Westinghouse Aviation Gas Turbine Division White Westinghouse <laughs>